Hello all you fantastic viewers. Welcome to Kate Bonnie Country. Thanks for stopping by. You can call me Kate Bonnie, so come on in and have a seat. Today I'm making a summer chicken salad. Now normally I use boiled boneless chicken, but we lost power due to a storm and it was out for 40 hours. When you live in the country, you must be prepared for extended power outages since rural areas are fixed last. I was able to keep most of my frozen foods frozen by piling everything into the deep freezer, packing it with ice, and keeping it closed. But I did have three pounds of chicken fingers at the top that did partially thaw. So once the power was back on, we cooked the entire three pound bag, ate what we wanted, and had about two pounds left. This is a good way of using that extra chicken up. I had originally planned on removing the breading, but that proved to be a little more difficult than I thought. So I decided to leave the breading on and move forward. The end result will not be as visually appealing as it usually is. I broke the chicken into chunks, placed them in my ninja blender, and pulsed to shred them. If you enjoy this video, please remember to give it a like and subscribe to Cape Bonnie Country. Your support is so important to growing the channel. Please feed the algorithm and leave a comment. I do my best to upload at least three videos each month and respond to all comments. As a child, I attended many summer picnics where someone would bring chicken salad. It would end up sitting on a table for far too long, the mayonnaise would spoil, and someone ended up getting sick after eating it. This is a summer chicken salad because it does not contain mayonnaise. It uses applesauce to provide the moisture. It also requires a nut or seed element for crunch and fresh fruit to add sweetness. Other than chicken and applesauce, the recipe is 100% customizable and can be tailored to suit your tastes and the amount you want to make. I will present the recipe based on using two pounds of cooked chicken and also give you the ratio per pound. For those viewers that prefer metric measurements, the conversions will be in the titles. You can shred the chicken by hand, but I prefer to pulse it in my Ninja. Place the shredded chicken in a large bowl. Add one cup of applesauce per pound. Since I have two pounds of chicken, I add two cups of applesauce and fold together using a silicone spatula. Next, add your favorite tree nut or seed ingredient. I am using one tablespoon of poppy seeds per pound so two tablespoons total, and one half cup of chopped walnuts per pound, one cup in total. You can add any type of nut or seed that you prefer. People with nut allergies often use sunflower seed kernels instead. I have tasted variations that use boiled peanuts, I personally did not like it because the boiled peanuts have a mushy texture so it lacks the crunch that I prefer. I've also had a variation that used pecans or pecans depending on your regional dialect. So fold your nuts and or seed ingredients in until they have a nice even distribution. Now it is time to add one half pound of fresh fruit per pound of chicken. The fruit should be cut into bite-sized pieces. I am using one pound of seedless black grapes. Once cut, that yielded about two cups of fruit by volume. 
any firm-bodied fruit will do. Blueberries and strawberries work well. Blackberries and raspberries tend to fall apart. Peaches, pears, and mangoes are excellent. Bananas are a bit too soft. Apples are not that great because they turn brown quickly once they are cut and they don't add much to the flavor since we use applesauce instead of mayonnaise. Normally, this is when I add additional seasonings. Since the breading was already seasoned, I decided not to add anything else. You will want to add a little salt, no more than an eighth of a teaspoon per pound. Some people like to add a little black pepper. Others might add a little chili powder to give it a spicier flavor. And I've had variations where people will add honey to give it a little extra sweetness. So season according to your own tastes and preferences. Thoroughly mix it all together. Sometimes it's best to wash your hands and just mix it around with your fingers. Transfer it to a storage container and refrigerate. Cooked chicken is generally safe to eat for seven days as long as it stays well refrigerated. However, the fruit you use will determine how long it will last. Grapes start to break down after three days, but it is safe to consume for about five days. Now for the taste test. It does not look as appealing using the breaded chicken strips and the seasoning in the breading throws the flavor off. It still has the sweetness and crunchy texture that I prefer and it's overall okay. I might revisit this recipe in the future using regular boiled chicken. This was a good way to use up the chicken before it's boiled so it has served its purpose.